In a bag of peanuts and cashews, the ratio of the number of peanuts to the number of cashews is 8 to 5. Determine the number of cashews that are in the bag if there are 96 peanuts. We're told to use a tape diagram and also justify the answer by showing the new ratio is equivalent to the ratio of 8 to 5. Knowing the ratio of peanuts to cashews is 8 to 5 indicates that if we take all of the nuts and divide them into 13 groups, which group only contains one type of nut and all the groups have the same number of nuts, eight of the groups would be peanuts and five of the groups would be cashews. To model this using the tape diagram shown here below or the bar diagram, we begin by cutting the bar into 13 equally sized parts or pieces where each part represents a group of nuts. Once we have 13 equally sized parts, because the ratio of peanuts to cashews is 8 to 5, we would shade 8 of the parts to represent the peanuts and 5 of the parts to represent the cashews. So here is the bar diagram or tape diagram cut into 13 equally sized parts or pieces. These 8 parts represent the peanuts and these 5 parts represent the cashews. This model shows the ratio of peanuts to cashews is 8 to 5. And now we're told the bag of nuts contains 96 peanuts. To determine how many peanuts would be in each of these eight groups, we divide 96 by 8. There's 1, 8, and 9. 1 times 8 is 8. We subtract, bring down the 6. There are 2 8s and 16. 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract, the difference is 0. So because 96 divided by 8 is equal to 12, and the ratio of peanuts to cashews is 8 to 5, we now know each of these 8 groups of peanuts must contain 12 peanuts. To maintain the ratio of peanuts to cashews as 8 to 5, these 5 groups of cashews also must contain 12 cashews. And now we'll determine the ratio of peanuts to cashews when each group has 12 nuts. Well, we know 8 times 12 is equal to 96, so the ratio of peanuts to cashews is going to be 96 to, instead of using the colon, let's use a fraction bar, the number of cashews is 5 times 12, which is 60. So if each group contains 12 nuts, and the ratio of peanuts to cashews is 8 to 5, if there are 96 peanuts, there must be 60 cashews. Before we write this out though, let's show this is equivalent to the ratio of 8 to 5. We determine equivalent ratios, just like we determine equivalent fractions. To show these two ratios are equivalent, we need to divide 96 and 60 by the same value to show it's equivalent to the ratio of 8 to 5. And we know that 8 times 12 is equal to 96. So if we divide 96 by 12, that is equal to 8, and if we divide 60 by 12, it is equal to 5, showing these two ratios are equivalent. And finally, to answer the question, which is the number of cashews that are in the bag, we now know the bag contains 60 cashews. I hope you found this helpful.